This video episode will walk you through setting up the Iridium satellite telephone on a Windows computer and getting it to dial the internet. The prerequisites for this step are that we assume that you've already installed our ExpressMail software utility. Once you've done so, you'll see it appear as a little red boat down by the clock. Here it is. In order to start the Iridium installation, all we need to do is right click on the little red boat and choose Configure Sat Phone from the menu. This starts the automated uh, modem configuration utility which will scan through your computer, figure out what modems you've got and set up drivers for those that it understands. To get going all we need to do is press the auto scan and install button. It's found a whole load of Bluetooth devices in this case and also one phone called an Iridium 9505A. In order to get through and install the driver we need to press the continue anyway button. The computer will now put the correct driver on and this dialog box here confirms that the driver has been installed and that it has created automatically a dial-up network connection so that you can actually connect to the internet. So we can close this dialog box down now. Let's actually test this now by connecting to the internet. And to do that we come down to the start button, we come up to connect to and we choose Iridium internet dial-up. We click that and the following screen appears here. Now before we go any further the main thing that we need to check is have a glance at the Iridium telephone screen. It's very important that you've got five bar signal at this point. Anything less than five bars will not give you good performance with the Iridium, uh, either for voice or for data. As a rough indication, you're looking at speeds of around about half normal if it's simply dropped down to four bar signal strength, and you're looking at speeds of around 10% of normal if it's dropped down to three bars. So it really is very, very important that you've got a full five bar signal all of the time. So a quick glance at the screen, we see that we've got good signal strength. Now let's press the dial button. At this point it starts dialing the telephone. The screen starts flashing data call in progress and this shows you that the other end hasn't answered and you're not being charged for this stage of the call. Now that it goes steady and shows verifying username and password, the other end's answered. This will normally take 10 seconds until you get to this step here where down by the clock it shows us... Iridium internet dial-up is now connected, speed 9.6. And What I'm going to do is actually click that icon and it just confirms the statistics again and it also shows us the number of bytes that have gone in and out on that connection. Now this screen is useful for several reasons. Uh, what we're looking for, there are no programs deliberately using the internet at the moment. So when I come into this screen I would expect to see these number of bytes to be low and most importantly not to be increasing. And this is a very important debug step when you first get your Iridium phone. You've really only got enough bandwidth to do small amounts of internet and it's very important that no, compu no program on your computer is wasting that bandwidth without your permission. So coming in here we can see that we've got 5,000 bytes have been sent and 1,500 bytes have been received. To give you a rough idea, Iridium can do around about 20,000 bytes per minute in both directions. So these numbers here would represent a fairly normal uh, connection attempt uh, where the computer's configured pretty optimally. It does take a few thousand bytes while it sets itself up, but the key thing is we can see that it's not increasing. If on your computer you can see these numbers scrolling up, you'll need to go and look through our debugging section uh, to have a look and see how you can figure out what program it is on your computer that's wasting the internet without your permission. Let's now have a look at how we can hang up the satellite telephone. Uh, as with many things in Windows, there's uh, quite a few ways of doing everything. We can come down to the same icon that we clicked before. We can right click on it and choose disconnect. We've also got the big disconnect button that was here on the uh, status page. Uh, and if you're really stuck, you can just simply yank the cable out the side of the computer or turn the telephone off. Both of those will cause the connection to be hung up. I'm going to come down here and right click on my icon by the clock and choose disconnect and on the screen you can see it flashes up the number of seconds we've been connected and that can be quite useful if you just have a glance at the screen whenever you finish using the internet first of all we can see that the connection has hung up it's no longer got the data call in progress and secondly we can just have a quick look and see how many seconds each calls used and perhaps get a rough idea of how much consumption we've got I'm just going to highlight one of the most useful features of the automated installer and that's that you can run it as many times as you like so what I've done is I've pulled out the cable for the Iridium telephone and plugged it into a different USB port on the computer and this simulates one of the most common problems we see. So in this situation I might come along and try and dial the internet and let's see what kind of error message we might receive. 
So I come along and I do my normal steps to connect to the internet. I press dial, and at this point I get this fairly random and unhelpful error message. The modem or other connecting device is already in use or is not configured properly. It's a bit of a meaningless error message, but the important thing to know is this really indicates that the computer is confused about the modem that's installed and needs some help figuring out what's going wrong. The way to fix that, all we need to do, come back to our little red sailboat, right click, choose configure sat phone. This will now go through its normal range of steps and it will notice that we've already got a driver installed and this time it will simply try and reconfigure it to make everything work again. So here we are, press continue anyway. Driver installed OK. And it does absolutely no harm at all to run this as many times as you like. I'll deliberately run it again a second time just to show that you can run this as many times as you like. It doesn't create duplicated connections. It simply fixes the previous connection and takes it back to known good configuration. So I'm now going to press the start menu. I'm now going to go to connect to, come up here to my Iridium internet dial up. I have a quick glance at the screen again just to check that I've got a full signal. At this point I press dial and voila, it dials up the internet without any error message this time.